<clears throat> Just state your name. Stanton. I'm Gary Allen. Stanton. Just Stanton. Stanton. Wade. Uh, that's a good deal to put us up there together. <laughs> I'd like to take care it's of him. It's scary on. for us that you guys are together. I'm wondering about that. Go ahead. Well, I'd like to take care of him all my life. My mother made me do that. So. <clears throat> so I guess I'll keep on doing it. I'm just going to tell you what I've done in, in 50 years of, of ranching. Uh, to start with, why, when I was a kid, why, everything, everything was different than it is now. The Forest Service, they, they was new, and they come out there, they did a little work, they built fences, they maintained them, at least they helped. Ranchers helped them, did most of the work probably, but but at least they did help. Now they're, I don't know what, what the deal is, but they can't get out of their picking. If they pass over it, all as far as to tell you how many cows you got on the wrong side of the fence. <clears throat> Used to have, there used to be no beetles in the trees. They used to log. They took all the logging out of, that, out of Paiute County. They took all the mining out of Paiute County. Mines used to run there, and, uh, and the logging industry was, you know, it, it kept a lot of people employed. Now there's not a job in Paiute County. You got to go someplace else, or else you got to be one of us. It's getting picked on every day. I get up every morning and the phone starts ringing and I ask my wife, who is it, the LM or the Forest Service? And, and you got it to deal with. And uh, they cut you. I've been, I've been run off the mountain just because, just because I don't see eye to eye with a, a range gun. I've been run off the mountain in July, the 1st of July, with no Nothing other than he hooked his pickup on a gate and took it for 10 miles down the road because he's throwing a fit. And uh, it's the type of personnel they got in the Forest Service. They could, they could come and talk to you and, and, and be decent, but they don't have to because they're God Almighty. They, they do it the way they want to do it, when they want to do it. I can remember them running us off on Labor Day weekend. And... Uh, about three or four hundred head of cattle down on the highway with, you know what the traffic is going to the Otter Creek Reservoir, and they hit the highway at night, just as it's getting dark. Well, nobody got killed, and I don't think they even killed a cow, but but it wasn't right. Been, it's it's just constant, and uh, I don't know. You got to change something. We figure we got rights. That's that our rights are not. Our service was put here just, just to help, help out, help manage the, help manage the forest, and they haven't done it. That's for sure. It ain't, it hasn't been managed. The BLM does a better job, I'd say, a little bit better job, but it needs some, they need, they need some help, and I don't know who, who's better to help them. And I think we know how to run our cattle better. As, as old as I am, I ought to know how to run my cattle better than some kid that they just brought in from Tennessee or Arkansas that's never seen a cow before, but he went through he went through college and got a degree. And then another problem they got, and it's a big problem, and we got to hey, hurt it. Minute, Gary, I'm, I'm, let's, let's let Sam say a few things here. I right. appreciate what you're saying. He's, well, I know you you raised him, so let's see what he I did. To say. I take okay. care of him. I have to drive him around, chauffeur him around. <laughs> this is really important to talk here, and I shouldn't start it off with a joke, but I'm going to tell this little joke because it fits. This man went down into South America, and he, <clears throat> while he's down there, he finds a guy that's got this big bird, and the big bird can talk and sing. It costs him a fortune. You guys probably heard the joke, but he he buys the big bird and he ships it home to his mother. A woman that reminds me a lot of my grandma. In a few days he calls his mother and he says, Did you and dad get that big bird? Did you like him? His mother said, Oh, we just enjoyed him. He was delicious. <laughs> he said, Ma, he said, you shouldn't have ate that big bird. He said he could sing, he could talk. She said, Well, he should have spoke up because he didn't say a word. <laughs> that fits us ranching. 
we've we've been 40 years and we haven't spoke up. We haven't said a word, and we're just about where the big bird is. <clears throat> it's time that we we stood up and we started to say we're we're like a herd of sheep is what we've been like. If we just stay in the middle and let them keep picking on that guy out there and this guy over here. <clears throat> That's the way we survive with, the, with, the, with them BLM and the Forest Service. If you just stay, lay low and let them keep picking on the outside guy, we try to survive that way. <clears throat> when the writing's on the wall, <clears throat> we've lost 70% of our grazing rights, or AUMs. They've been canceled or suspended over the past 40 years. It, can't, it don't take a rocket scientist to figure out where we're headed. And the big thing is, is we have the rights out on that land. A lady named, she's Mitt Romney's cousin, uh, Pamela Openshaw. I was to a meeting with her and she said, you ranchers are the only people that can defend this country because you own the rights on that land. And what I'm reading and what I always thought, I didn't think we was welfare ranchers. I don't like to be called a welfare rancher. And if I am a welfare rancher, get me out of here, get me gone. <clears throat> My grandpa wasn't a welfare rancher, or his grandpa, and they, they were ranched the BLM only come along in 1949. If those rights were good before 1949, they should still be good today. And the great thing about that is if the rancher stays on the land, that land can't be subdivided. It can't be turned into wilderness. And, and we have access rights. That means the public has access rights. <clears throat> that land, as long as it stays like it's been for forever, if you can, if we can. If we can protect the right, then it's, it's a good thing for the hunters, the public, for everybody benefits by it. <clears throat> the big thing is this Constitution right here, it says that our rights are to be protected. It says we're supposed to, we're supposed to have our rights protected without losing our life or liberty and our property are supposed to be protected without losing our life or liberty and our property. And we're getting about to the point that <clears throat> some of this stuff's starting to look pretty glim. But the only guy that can protect that is the sheriff, and the sheriff is the law of the county. He's the man that's elected. They tell me there's no law above that sheriff in the county. And that sheriff knows what goes on in the county. So it's very important we back the sheriff. He can protect us and he can deputize every man in the county if he has to. One other thing, these federal people don't have any right to be here if you follow this. This tells you all through this that this land if Utah is not a territory, then Utah owns this land. And it states right here, and the way I understand it, this is the law of this Constitution. I don't think there's any law above it. It even goes on to say the only ground that the federal government can own is, is 10 square miles. And the, you guys, the legislature, has to give that to them. There again, I think the, the sheriff, if you want your land, just tell the sheriff, invite the trespasser to leave. Either they're trespassing or we're trespassing. And if we're trespassing, tell us, because I'm ready to move on to some other occupation. But if I'm not, if I'm living on the rights my grandfather lived on, my great-grandfather, then that's the right I stand on. I think we have that right. And if a right, it don't matter if it's a grazing right or a water right, or what right it is, a right is a right. It can't be anything else. If, if it says you have a water right on that land, you have a water right. If you have a trail right, access right, and a right is to be defended. And, and I guess that's about all I have to say. I probably took up more of my time than I should have. <clears throat>